Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of shadows and ancient mysteries where enchanted masks hold the power to transform in hidden chambers, guard secrets long forgotten. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to a dimly lit antique shop where a young actress named Emily embarks on a perilous journey into the depths of the city's catacombs. Prepare to be captivated as we unravel the tale of the cursed mask, where courage, identity, and the battle against dark magic will leave you spellbound. Join me as we delve into a world where every whisper and shadow tells a story waiting to be uncovered. The Curse of the Enchanted Mask Unlock the Secrets In the heart of the city, hidden in a narrow alleyway that seemed to resist the modern world's rush, lay an obscure antique shop. The shop's exterior was almost swallowed by the shadows of taller buildings around it, its dusty windows hinting at the treasures and mysteries held within. Emily, a passionate young actress with a flair for the dramatic, was drawn to this peculiar place one rainy afternoon. She had spent weeks searching for the perfect prop to elevate her upcoming theater production and hoped this shop might hold something truly unique. The moment Emily stepped inside, the musty scent of old books and aged wood greeted her. The shop was dimly lit, with only a few flickering candles and an ancient chandelier providing a warm, golden glow. Shelves lined the walls, overflowing with an eclectic mix of items from forgotten eras. Ancient books with worn covers, tarnished silverware that once graced the tables of nobility, and trinkets that seemed to whisper tales of their own filled every nook and cranny. The air was thick with the weight of history, and Emily felt as though she had stepped back in time. As she wandered through the narrow aisles, her eyes scanning the myriad of curiosities, something extraordinary caught her eye. A beautifully crafted carnival mask. It was propped up on a velvet cushion, as if it were a crown jewel. The mask was a masterpiece, adorned with vibrant feathers that seemed to dance in the soft light and glittering gemstones that sparkled like a constellation. It exuded an air of mystery and enchantment, immediately captivating Emily's imagination. Ah, I see you found our most unique piece, came a voice from behind her. Startled, Emily turned to see the shopkeeper, an elderly man with piercing blue eyes that seemed to see straight into her soul. He moved with a grace that belied his years, his hands delicate yet strong as he approached her. This mask has a history, you know, the shopkeeper continued, his voice a soft murmur filled with the weight of countless stories. It's said to possess magical properties. Intrigued, Emily picked up the mask, her fingers tracing the intricate designs etched into its surface. Despite its obvious age, it was in pristine condition, as though it had been preserved through some arcane means. The feathers were soft and vibrant, and the gemstones caught the light in a way that made them seem almost alive. I'll take it, she decided her mind already racing with the dramatic effect it would have on stage. She imagined herself wearing the mask, 
becoming the character she was meant to portray with an intensity and realism that would captivate her audience. The shopkeeper smiled knowingly as he wrapped the mask carefully. Use it wisely, he advised, his tone hinting at a deeper understanding of the mask's true nature. That evening, back in her small apartment, Emily couldn't wait to test out her new acquisition. She stood in front of her full-length mirror, the mask in her hands. As she rehearsed her lines, she felt a growing excitement. This mask was going to be the key to her best performance yet. With a mixture of anticipation and trepidation, Emily raised the mask to her face. The moment it touched her skin, a strange sensation washed over her. It was as if the mask had a life of its own, melding with her, infusing her with a surge of energy that was both exhilarating and terrifying. When she looked into the mirror, she was no longer Emily. The face staring back at her was that of a different person entirely, a regal woman with a commanding presence and eyes that held centuries of wisdom. Startled, Emily ripped the mask off, her heart pounding in her chest. Her own reflection returned, looking just as shocked as she felt. What just happened? She whispered, her voice barely audible over the sound of her racing heart. She stared at the mask in her hands, realization dawning on her. She had unlocked the mask's enchanted power, a power that would soon begin to consume her. Little did she know, this was only the beginning of a journey that would test the very fabric of her identity and thrust her into a world of magic and danger she could never have imagined. Over the next few days, Emily found herself irresistibly drawn to the mask. Its power was intoxicating, and she couldn't resist experimenting with it. Each time she put it on, she experienced a transformation that went beyond mere appearance. She could become anyone she desired, a famous actress from the golden age of Hollywood, a powerful historical figure like Cleopatra, or even her closest friends. The possibilities were endless, and with each transformation, the allure of the mask's power grew stronger. Emily's performances in the theater soared to new heights. With the mask, she could inhabit her characters with an uncanny realism that left audiences spellbound. Her portrayal of Lady Macbeth was lauded as the most riveting performance in recent memory. Her depiction of Juliet was heartbreakingly poignant, and her embodiment of Medea was terrifyingly intense. Her fellow actors marveled at her talent, unable to comprehend how she had suddenly become capable of such profound performances. What's your secret, Emily? They would ask, half joking, but wholly curious. She would smile enigmatically and say, just practice. But inside, she knew it was the mask that held the key to her newfound prowess. However, with each use, Emily began to notice unsettling changes. At first, it was just a fleeting confusion, a moment of disorientation. But soon, these moments grew longer and more frequent. She would struggle to remember who she was before she put on the mask. Her reflections in the mirror would sometimes linger, displaying faces she had worn long after she removed the mask. It was as if the persona she adopted were leaving an imprint on her very soul. 
Emily's dreams became a chaotic whirl of faces and voices. She would wake up in the middle of the night, drenched in sweat, her heart pounding as fragments of different lives flitted through her mind. The boundaries between reality and the personas she adopted with the mask grew increasingly blurred. She started to question her own identity, wondering who she really was beneath all the transformations. One night, after a particularly intense rehearsal, Emily returned to her apartment, exhausted but exhilarated. She placed the mask on her face once more, hoping to refine her portrayal of an enigmatic queen for the upcoming show. As she recited her lines in front of the mirror, she felt the familiar surge of energy. But this time, something was different. The mask seemed to tighten against her skin, its hold growing stronger. Panic set in as Emily tried to remove the mask. She tugged at it frantically, but it clung to her skin as if fused. Her heart raced, and her breathing became shallow. The faces she had worn over the past few days flashed before her eyes, each vying for control. She could hear their voices, a cacophony of whispers and shouts, filling her mind and drowning out her own thoughts. Help me, she gasped, her voice a desperate whisper. Tears streamed down her face as she stumbled around her apartment, her vision blurring. She knew she needed to find help, and there was only one person who might understand, the shopkeeper who had sold her the mask. With the mask still firmly attached to her face, Emily fled her apartment, her movements unsteady. The city streets seemed to warp and twist around her as she made her way to the antique shop. Each step was a battle against the confusion and terror, threatening to overwhelm her. She felt as though she were being pulled in multiple directions. Each identity within the mask, fighting for dominance. When she finally reached the narrow alleyway, she almost collapsed with relief at the sight of the shop's dusty windows. Emily burst into the antique shop, breathless and frantic. The bell above the door jingled ominously and the shopkeeper looked up from his ledger, his expression a mix of concern and resignation. His piercing blue eyes, which had once held a knowing glint, now seemed burdened by the weight of what he knew. I see the mask has shown you its true nature, he said quietly, his voice heavy with sympathy and an unspoken apology. How do I get it off? Emily pleaded, her voice trembling with desperation. It's taking over my life. The shopkeeper sighed deeply, setting aside his ledger. He walked around the counter and gently guided Emily to a chair, sensing her exhaustion and fear. The mask, he began, was crafted by an ancient sorcerer who sought to live many lives. He poured his magic into it, granting the wearer the power to transform. But such power comes at a cost. The more you use it, the more it consumes your identity. Emily's eyes widened with fear and realization. Is there a way to break the curse? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. There is a way, the shopkeeper replied but it won't be easy. You must find the sorcerer's journal, which contains the ritual to reverse the spell. It's said to be hidden in the catacombs beneath the city. 
guarded by the spirits of those who fell victim to the mask's power. Determined to reclaim her identity and free herself from the mask's grip, Emily knew what she had to do. The thought of venturing into the catacombs was terrifying, but she had no choice. The mask was relentless, and she could feel her sense of self slipping away with each passing moment. With a flashlight in hand and a fierce resolve, Emily embarked on her perilous journey into the city's underground. The entrance to the catacombs was hidden in a forgotten corner of an old cemetery, overgrown with ivy and nearly obscured by time. As she descended the narrow, winding staircase, the air grew colder, and the light from above faded, leaving her enveloped in darkness. The catacombs were a labyrinth of narrow tunnels and ancient passageways, their walls lined with the bones of the long dead. The air was thick with the musty scent of decay, and the silence was almost deafening, broken only by the sound of Emily's footsteps and the occasional drip of water from the ceiling. She moved cautiously, the beam of her flashlight cutting through the darkness, guiding her deeper into the bowels of the earth. As she ventured further, Emily could feel the oppressive weight of the spirits that haunted these catacombs. Whispers seemed to echo around her, and shadows flickered at the edge of her vision, always just out of reach. She knew these were the souls of those who had fallen victim to the mask's power. Trapped in this dark place, their identities consumed just as hers was being consumed. After hours of relentless searching, Emily finally stumbled upon a hidden chamber deep within the catacombs. Her flashlight cast eerie shadows on the walls, which were lined with ancient tomes and mysterious artifacts. The room felt as though it had been forgotten by time, its secrets waiting patiently for someone brave enough to uncover them. At the chamber center lay a dusty, leather-bound journal, its cover cracked and worn with age. Trembling with anticipation and fear, Emily reached out and lifted the heavy book, brushing away the dust that had settled on its surface. She opened it carefully, the fragile pages crackling softly under her fingertips. The journal's contents were written in an archaic language, but Emily's eyes were drawn to a section that seemed to glow with a faint, otherworldly light. As she deciphered the ancient text, she realized it contained the ritual to break the mask's curse. The instructions detailed a series of complex incantations and required the mask to be returned to its original resting place, which she surmised was somewhere within this very chamber. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she began to recite the ancient words. The language was foreign and difficult, but she forced herself to pronounce each syllable with precision. As she spoke, the ground beneath her feet began to tremble, and a cold wind swept through the chamber, stirring the dust and making the shadows on the walls seem to come alive. Ghostly whispers filled the air, growing louder with each passing moment. The shadows danced more wildly, and Emily could feel the presence of spirits around her. These were the souls of those who had been consumed by the mask's power, their faces twisted in anguish and torment. You must finish the ritual, one spirit urged, its voice a desperate plea. Only then 
will we be free? Despite the fear gnawing at her, Emily felt a renewed determination. She could not fail now, not when she was so close to breaking the curse. Her voice grew steadier, louder, as she continued the incantation. The mask, still attached to her face, began to heat up, burning against her skin. The pain was excruciating, but she pressed on, her vision blurring as tears of pain and effort filled her eyes. The ground shook more violently, and the chamber seemed to pulse with an ancient energy. The spirits around her watched intently, their eyes filled with hope and desperation. Emily could feel the mask's power fighting back resisting the ritual, but she would not be deterred. With a final, resounding word, Emily completed the incantation. The mask heated to a searing temperature before suddenly shattering into pieces, releasing a blinding light that filled the chamber. The light was pure and cleansing, driving away the shadows and the cold wind. The spirits let out a collective sigh of relief, their twisted faces softening as they began to fade away. Thank you, one spirit whispered, its voice filled with gratitude. We are finally free. Emily collapsed to the ground, utterly exhausted but triumphant. The mask's shards lay scattered around her, their power broken and harmless. She took a moment to catch her breath, the adrenaline slowly ebbing away, leaving her feeling weak, but victorious. She had reclaimed her identity and broken the curse that had threatened to consume her. As she made her way back through the labyrinthine catacombs, she felt a profound sense of peace and clarity. The spirit's gratitude echoed in her mind, a reminder of the lives she had touched and the ancient wrong she had righted. Emerging from the catacombs, Emily was greeted by the cool night air and the sight of a star-filled sky. She breathed deeply, savoring the fresh air and the feeling of freedom. The journey had been harrowing, but it had also taught her invaluable lessons about the dangers of power and the importance of remaining true to oneself. As she walked back to her apartment, Emily reflected on the events that had transpired. The power of transformation, though alluring, had nearly cost her everything. She knew now that it was her true self that held the greatest strength, and she vowed never to lose sight of that again. The city seemed different now, the streets less foreboding, and the shadows less menacing. Emily felt a renewed sense of purpose and clarity, ready to face whatever challenges the future might hold. The curse of the mask had been a test of her strength and resolve, and she had emerged victorious, stronger than ever before. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with wonder, and your heart with the courage to face any challenge. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully free from shadows, until we meet again for another enchanting adventure.